You may have heard that some people down the prep school wrote some racial slurs on some message boards. If you're outraged by those words, then you're in the right place. That kind of behavior has no place at the prep school, it has no place in the United States Air Force. You should be outraged not only as an airman, but as a human being. And we would all be naive to think that everything is perfect here. We would be naive to think that we shouldn't discuss this topic. We would also be tone deaf not to think about the backdrop of what's going on in our country. Things like Charlottesville and Ferguson, the protests in the NFL. So just in case you're unclear on where I stand on this topic, I'm gonna leave you with my most important thought today. If you can't treat someone with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. If you can't teach someone from another gender, whether that's a man or a woman, with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. If you demean someone in any way, then you need to get out. And if you can't treat someone from another race or a different color skin with dignity and respect, then you need to get out. Reach for your phones. I'm serious, reach for your phones. Grab your phones, I want you to videotape this so that you have it, so that you can use it, so that we all have the moral courage together. And if you need it, and you need my words, then you keep these words. And you use them, and you remember them, and you share them, and you talk about them. No one can write on a board and question our values. No one can take that away from us. And I'll tell you that the appropriate response for horrible ideas, the appropriate response is a better idea. Because what we should have is a civil discourse and talk about these issues. That's a better idea. There are so many people here, they're lining the outsides along the windows. These are members of the faculty. Leadership is here from my headquarters. That's why we're all here, because we have a better idea. And it's about our diversity. The power of us as a diverse group, the power of the 4,000 of you, that's a much better idea than small thinking and horrible ideas. The power that we come from all walks of life, that we come from all parts of this country, that we come from all races, we come from all backgrounds, gender, all makeup, all upbringing, the power of that diversity comes together and makes us that much more powerful.